So my name's Evan. I'm a alum from the University of Washington. I went to school with Chris. And now I'm out here in New York building a company. Finding content on live streams like Twitch right now is super hard when you want to find the exact stuff that you want to watch. So we're building a product to help you find exactly what you want. Imagine being able to find a specific character and somebody with a specific score without having to manually go through every stream. If you're a League of Legends fan, we can help you find the best Draven player right now that's live streaming across the entire internet. We found that the ecosystem of live streaming has a lot of work to be done within the industry itself. Um, Twitch in the past, you know, since its inception has really focused on the streamer experience, trying to bring the content creators to their platform, but we found that they've really neglected the user, the actual viewer. And so the experience of being a viewer is really difficult because it's very manual. You have to go in and figure out what you want to watch, find who's playing what, you have to find out what personalities you really gel with, and it's a very fragmented experience. We think that there's uh, an industry, a market around, not only A, finding the right content that you want to watch, but B, interacting with it in new and interesting ways. And so the prerequisite to building the interactivity piece is building the discoverability piece, which is where our product right now comes in, helping connect you with the exact pieces of content you want to watch in real time. Sure, so the funding was secured by a CEO. Um, he's a serial entrepreneur, so he knows quite a few people in the industry. So it was really easy for him to go and just like find the right people to talk to and pitch, pitch the idea, pitch the team, and raise funding that way. The, the team we're at right now is we have seven people. We have a handful of devs, a designer, and some business folks that work on marketing, from content creation, uh, figuring out some of the monetization strats that can, that can come out of it. Uh, so we're just building out an initial MVP right now to uh, connect viewers of League of Legends games with uh, who's doing well on Twitch. And so we're quickly you know, building that out, trying to get users get feedback, uh, and then expand from Twitch to other platforms uh, and to other games as well. One of the things that we think would be huge is like how frequently do users come back every week and how often do they interact with our product every week. So that's, there's two KPIs there. One is the daily or the, the weekly active user. The second one is measuring how often they interact with our, with our product. And so if both of those are looking strong, then we know that we've landed on something good. Um, for our product specifically, it's hard to to measure how often something comes back daily, um, but it's too, too long of a cycle if we watch people come back every month, so we thought that every week would be uh, a good sweet spot. So we're figuring out monetization stress right now. We have quite a few that we have hypotheses around, um, but nothing that we've started building out right now, uh, mainly because we're trying to find the right product market fit for our product uh, and building something that users actually want to use. Um, so the strat that we have right now is just get a ton of users that love our brand and our product uh, and then move into understanding ways that users would uh, be open to be monetized. Like figuring out what value we provide to them initially and then how can we provide additional value um, at a premium. Based on my experience, there's two main things that you should consider. A, just, just go out and do it. Like with as much uh, like risk as there is involved, at the end of the, the tunnel with whatever company you start, you'll be rich in either one of two ways. You'll either be knowledge rich or you'll be rich rich um, if, you, if you exit well. So being knowledge rich is super helpful because then you'll be able to, to build other companies in the future or be a really good hire at a Google or a Facebook. And then the second big piece of advice that I've been following quite a lot has been watching a ton of talks about entrepreneurship and startups. Two of the best resources for that are all of the Y Combinator talks. They've open sourced their entire startup school 
which was hosted as a MOOC every summer. All of those talks are online for free. And then Andreessen Horowitz, A16Z, has a ton of online content in the form of videos and talks and podcasts that are also super valuable. Um, YC is, is much more applicable to early startup phase, and uh, A16Z is when, once you're like mid to large tier. Yeah, no problem. Thank you for it. My pleasure, Chris. And, uh, good luck with whatever you want to do out there. Just go and do it. Let's do it.